Uh, my name is Elijah Boykoff. My name is Shay Stillman. My name is Joseph Sustronk. And I'm 19 years old. And I'm a 17 year old. And I am 16 years old. How do you think the war on drugs has affected modern day American society? Well, I think that the war on drugs is really just a front for incarcerating black people. Um, it's just modern day slavery, honestly. So you create a situation in which you're making a lot of arrests um, for drug related causes to try to stop drugs or whatever. And the majority of those arrests are minorities, specifically black people. And those black people are then put into forced labor um, by the criminal justice system. So essentially they're unwillingly giving free labor um, to a lot of corporations in the U.S. So it's basically slavery. I think it's definitely had a negative impact on society because, I mean, there was like a whole like phase of like kids dying from like overdosing on drugs, which is really terrible. The war on drugs has uh, definitely been more targeted towards poor and uh, black communities, which creates uh, prejudice and racism in uh, today's life. How is the war on drugs? Uh, affected you or people that you know personally, if at all? Um, it has not affected me, but I think that that's partially because I am white and I, you can tell me if this is okay to say, but I do participate in illicit activities and I haven't been, um, you know, reprimanded for that. So, I think that the war on drugs is very situational, um, so it, it hasn't affected me to the same degree, but I have been like caught by police before and uh, have not been arrested. How do you think that people should change their practices to bring more awareness to this issue? Well, I definitely think we need more education around drugs and what drugs do and what will, like if you take drugs, what the effect will be, which overall will hopefully stop people from wanting to use them so much instead of like increasing um, jail time and stuff like that because you're not really knowing the true effects of it. Okay, and then would you say that um, teaching that anybody can be affected by drugs, it doesn't just have to target one community. Oh yeah, kind of like well I definitely think even like rich people, just because they have so much of an easier chance of acquiring the drugs, it makes it, and especially in like the club and partying scenes um, around high schools and stuff like that, where people just like want to use them, and they just, we don't really get the education of why they're so bad to use and like what would happen to us in the future if we do end up using them i would say honestly like education on it is very important as like you know a bunch of kids don't know what they're getting into with many of these drugs and maybe like how to get help would definitely change perceptions on them and i think also the education on like the downsides and like the side effects would also create more of like an overall idea of like what it is the war on drugs Okay, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sweet. Thank you so much. Sure. Well, the war on drugs has been, um... <laughs> you can start <laughs> laughing. How do you think the war on drugs... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, we got this. Well, the war on drugs is definitely. Brody. Brody looks at